All right. All right. All right. All right. I know. I know. I know. Welcome back to FLV, man. I know that your boy uh, has been gone for a minute. I know the song has already been done dropped. I know I haven't reacted to it yet. <laughs> anyway, for all y'all people in the know, I listen to Grip. I love Snub Nose. He is, I am, is my favorite song on the Snub Nose LP. So go check that out first before you start playing this one. I'm guaranteeing you in for a treat. But anyway, without any further ado, man, I have not heard this. I know this was coming out. I seen this on social media that this was coming out. But without any further ado, man, I love Grip. So this is going to be good for me. So again, you check my, where's my phone? Anyway, on my phone, on my Spotify list. I got grip on my Spotify list and I listen to snub nose. Snub nose is my, I like snub nose. But anyway, before we move on, I kind of want to do a new thing in the channel. So I want you to tell me what you are listening to this week or what's the last song you listened to, right? That's going to be my thing that I want to, let people know or ask people what was the last song they listened to the last song i listened to are you that somebody by Aaliyah? i just listened to that before i came in here that's the last song i listened to and what am i watching this week i'm still watching money heights i'm still behind on my money heights on netflix it's just i just got into that uh a couple weeks ago i'm on season three a part three, whatever it is. But anyway, without any further ado, y'all came to watch me react to Eminem and Grip, so I'm here to give you react, give you this reaction. But let's go ahead and get into it. I blab it way too much. Let's go. All right, let's get it. Love. Let's go. I can walk you through the depths of hell with oh. best rejects, elect the cell. Keep text to protect your tail. No respect to mail to blaze a separate trail. Cause uh they was inept as well. Inherited they debt, we set to fail. Please reset the scale. Niggas clapping on Saturday, but we ain't see SNL. No comedy skits, just llamas and sticks and drama and shit. Baby my Come on, come on. I'm telling you, you in for a treat if you not heard grip spit before. I'm telling you, I love grip. But anyway. I love a great storyteller. I love that somebody can embody a message inside the track. And that's what he's doing. He's giving you that reality, a crisp piece of reality. What, a, what are you saying? He's talking about, look, look, as I walk through the depths of hell, you can imagine somebody walking through the depths of hell or walking through their city or their hood or where they're from and walking through it. You see people walking through depths of hell. You can imagine the flame, the things going on. But he said, where vets reject, select the sale. Sell what? What are they selling? He said, keep the text to protect your tails, but don't respect the mail. Don't respect the mail as for what they're selling. Also, don't respect the mail, the person. Because if they don't respect you, you got to protect yourself. Because if you don't, they don't respect you, they're going to try to take you down. Then he says the blade is separate trail because they inept as well. Blaze talked about the depths of hell. What's in the depths of hell is blazing fire. Anyway, I don't want to keep, I want to break down every single bar, but don't you see what this dude is doing with his pen? Scheme. I love an artist with scheme. You can rap about and put all these nice little funky jabs and punchlines and stuff in your song, but do they connect the dots to make the song to make the scheme? Anyway, Real quick, dude's clapping on Saturday, but we ain't seen no SNL. You think of SNL, you think of comedy, go clapping. We ain't talking about hand clapping, we talking about clapping with the gun. So that's clever. And he says no comedy skits, just the llamas and the sticks and drama. So the skits, the drama from TV, also the drama that's happening in the streets, no clapping from the comedy or laughter, clapping from the gunshots. Anyway, Grip got it, man. You ain't for a treat. But we ain't see 
personnel No comedy skits, just llamas and sticks and drama and shit Baby mamas and jits, piranhas and pits And brought up the bitch, honestly it's Only right I get a zombie's a fix This bass to your face from a speaker Make you a tweaker, I laced it with ether It'll take you a week to bounce back off one hit of this Niggas is clitoris, way too frivolous This is far more dire The bars is hardcore like parkour with barbed wire <laughs> Oh, come on. Oh, oh. I love this dude, man. But anyway, he came out before I started doing YouTube, y'all. And I should have been reacting to it. Anyway, let me go back. Uh, he talks about, honestly, it's the right to get the zombies a fix. Get the zombies a fix. Then he says the bass to your face with a speaker makes you a makes you a tweaker. I laced it with ether. Either way you go, you can do the doubles with the double with the bass from the speaker. Also the bass from the speaker or the beaker, the bass, the drugs, the flow laced with ether. Ether makes your body burn slow, right? The zombies, the ether. This dude wordplay is bananas, y'all. Anyway, the barbed wire, the bars are hardcore like parquet with barbed wire. Come on. Barbed wire, bars, hardcore, wire, cups. Crazy. This is far more dire. The bars is hardcore like parkour with barbed wire. Grip is a dark horse that spark wars and start fires. Right. Holding one on a par four or higher and your supplier. Tour guy for hire. Poor guy, he's tired. Cut him some slack, he strapped rap to his back. Back to the water, they ought to get me. Oh, darn. The golf bar? The golf bar was sick. Holding one. On a par four, holding one on a par four, we're hiring your supplier. Also, holding one on a par four, that means you got the ball in on one shot on four out of four attempts. You're supposed to get a par. Oh my gosh, a hole in one. That's a bar. That's a bar. Any kind of sports bar, you know, I'm there for it. You know, I'm going to be there around the sports bar. It could be table tennis. You know, I got it. Let's go, Grip. <laughs> Poor guy, he's tired. Cut him some slack, he strapped rap to his back. Back to the wall, and they all get me. Love my mind, but it's cash to earn. I was hoping maybe we could ball the Vinci. If only one time, but we crash a burn. Fully from the script, but it's hard to empty. Cause you're strong, rapping a favorite girl. Could have fooled me, can't say the world. Could have fooled me, can't say the world. Right. Back to the wall, and they all get me. Love my mind, but it's cash to earn. I was hoping maybe we could ball the Vinci. If only one time, but we crash a burn. Fully from the script, but it's hard to empty. Cause you're strong, rapping a favorite girl. Could have fooled me, can't say the world. Could have fooled me, can't say the world. I love how we tied that in. He says, you could have choose, you could choose rap for your favorite girl. You could have fooled me. You can't save the world. You can't save the world. You can't be captain, save them. You can't save the world. Rap could be your favorite girl, but you can't save them all. You can't save them. Oh, come on, dude. You can't save them all. Let's go. Yeah. Sometimes I wonder really what did my close head injury do? Mm. I'm literally missing a screw, but it seems like my memory's too vivid to forget the shit I've been through. Yeah. So it's my residuals who I remember. Those kids who were cruel, same individuals at Elizabeth Little and essentially used them as the fuel. Who would have knew what a pencil could do? Though so mentally screwed, they said, Marshall, you're either gonna wind up dead or in the penitentiary. Cause if come on, come on, Marshall, stop. Stop. I love this Marshall. Again, I love it when artists collab and their collabs make sense. What I mean, they collabs make sense. When have you ever seen a collaboration of a rapper and the song could be called Nighttime and Spring or something? I don't freaking know. The one rapper's talking about nighttime and spring, and the other rapper's talking about how much money he got, all her girls he got. He's not even rapping about the title of the song or the scheme. They're not connecting the dots. They're just rapping. Like he just sent him some bars, sent him a his vocals like, here you go, and just throw this on any one of the songs you want to throw it on. No, not here. Not here, ladies and gentlemen. This song is giving you a walk through their journey through life. The depths of hell remember from grip. And now Eminem's giving you a walk through of his life from the head injury. So I like I'm talking about the head injury, probably got a concussion or something like that. I'm thinking the head injury. I don't know what particular head injury he's talking about. I'm sure y'all gonna know or click on genius and read whatever genius has on it. 
or I don't know. This is my first time hearing it. But anyway, <laughs> don't get me started. Anyway, uh, so I love Hayes giving you a, the 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 history of what's going on with the head injury. And he says, memory is too vivid to forget. Even though I had a head injury and a concussion or whatever happened to me, it's too vivid for me to forget what happened to me. That's freaking hard. Anyway. Anyway, keep moving on real quick. But like how he said, as my residuals grew, I remember the kids who were cruel. Fact, as his residual, his money, his Skrilla moved up, he can remember what the kids, how the mean kids were to him. He can think about that. As my money got bigger, I'm looking down on you people who treated me bad. I remember that. I won't forget, as he said before, the, the, memory, memory, the memory was too vivid. And he brings that back in the next freaking bar. That's what you do with a pen and how you tell a story. Anyway, he talked about the mental, mentally screwed and all the things like that. So people end up in jail or wind up dead. Just telling a story. Telling a story in the way that he tells the story, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. This is how you put a song together. No blabbing about craziness. The stuff all makes sense. Anyway, let's continue. What the pencil could do, though so mentally screwed, they said, Marshall, you're either gonna wind up dead or in the penitentiary, because eventually you'll end up clinching a tool and come back vengefully to shoot them bullies who clown you in elementary school. Yeah. My head, something's wrong with it, yeah. but that makes me me, I'm different. Yeah. That lyrical scene, I'm misfit, since I was a bleach blonde, you hear the beat on this, which makes me only think of demonic shit. What? I was knocking the desk door, yeah. I fucking ding dong ditched it. <laughs> Again, scheme, bars, Marshall Mathers, Eminem. He brings it back. He said, hey, I remember these kids who bullied me in school back in Elizabeth Little. Is that the school? Anyway, I could have came back. He said, I could have wound up dead or being in jail. I could come back with a tool and took out all these kids who bullied me with a gun and shot them all up. I heard the voices in my head. I should have came back and took them out. Then he said, I was knocking at death's door. <laughs> Messing with the ding dong. Anyway. Anyway. Great storytelling. The walkthrough of his life. Sometimes the memories get in your head and you can't get them out. You want to act on those, those, those memories or those impulses or those emotions because people have done you wrong. And you want to take them out. But the best revenge is watching his residuals grow. Instead of putting yourself in a situation where you die, get killed, they win. You're winning right now by making the music and winning with the bank account and living a better life while they still working at 7-Eleven. <laughs> anyway, let's go, Marshall. This which makes me only think of demonic shit. When I was knocking the desk door, yep. I fucking ding dong ditched it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I don't do that sing song bitch yeah. And I don't use auto tune. All I do is spit in this shit just bothers you. Call it quits, bitch impossible. My pin just popped your thought balloon. You dipshits know how I'ma do it. Send a motherfucking beat to the trauma unit. Yeah. Shady records. Wow. Look at all these squad killers we brought with us. Struggle knots and guns. Yeah. you don't rock with us. You're off of your rockers, bitch. Back to the Hold on. Always is why I'm not talking about wallets and knots when I say that the wallet is not against. Oh, dog, real quick. He said so much, and I don't want this reaction to be 20 minutes long. However, we can't ignore what he just said. Mumble rappers, people using all this auto tune all the time, said, I don't use the auto tune. All I do is spit, and it bothers you. <laughs> Remember the Nas nice song that just dropped a couple of weeks ago? On my Twitter feed, people were not loving the Eminem verse. A artist is allowed to mature and change content. He can't sound the same on every song. People mature and grow. That's what bugs me sometimes about, about people. If a rapper gets older and doesn't want to talk about taking rump anymore or chasing girls or drugs anymore on, a, on, on a, all the album they did before that, they were doing stuff that, that stuff they did when they was a kid. When you get older, especially these rappers in their 40s, some of them just talk about other stuff. You get mad. They sold out. They allowed to change. But anyway, I digress. 
Let's get right into the Juggernauts and Godzillas. Juggernauts, remember Juggernauts, the Slaughterhouse song with Juggernauts, Eminem is on the, on the Slaughterhouse track. And also Godzilla, you think about Godzilla and Juice, I'm thinking about that. Anyway, I gotta keep going because this reaction is gonna be too long. But anyway, so far, man, it's fire. Let's keep going. Is it always is why I'm not talking about wallets or knots when I say that the wallet is not against? It's more like the cross. cross. Look at how far this is past you, regardless. You want me to reach a yeah. fucking bar that does not exist. Hold no on. Hold on. He said it's more like a cross, but it looks, look how far this is past you. Let's hear that again. Look at how far this is past you, regardless, you want me to reach a yeah. fucking bar that does not exist. No pun intended, but grip, hold on to this moment, cause soon as you reach the top, they're gonna want you to fall from it. Yeah. So you better- No pun intended, but grip, you gotta hold on to this moment. Grip, hold on. Oh, oh, and also, isn't that true when you get on top? He wants you to fall from it. I follow Shaq online, man, and how much hate Shaq gets now for when he does some things or talks about stuff. He's trying to give you some motivation, and some people look at that as hate. If you watch my last video, did I just drop the box stuff on my chest? Again, you can turn that into a temple of self worship social media. But also you can turn that into a way to influence people to do better. You gotta look at it through different lens. You can look at it, say he's showboating. You can look at it, say he's trying to influence you to do better things. You gotta be able to determine that for yourself. But anyway, I digress. If you get to the top, right? They wanna see want you to fall from it really quickly. Anyway, let's spend this reaction, man. Grab your seatbelt like I did mine and fasten yours Like a motherfucking plane crash passenger So one day you'll be crashing back to earth And if you don't ever stop to smell the roses I do know one thing, that's for sure You don't get your flowers till you're pushing up daisies And that's about all your ashes earned Back to the water, they all to kiss me Love my mind, but it's past to earn I was hoping maybe we could ball to 50 If only one time, but we crash and burn Fully from the script, but it's not to empty Cause you chose rap in your favorite girl Could've fooled me, can't say the world Could've fooled me, can't say the world I like that part from Marshall at the end when he says you don't get your flowers until you're pushing up daisies. Fact. That's why, man, I hated that I got into a lot of these rappers' catalog. Like, I, I just got into Matt's catalog last year. My daughter had been listening to Matt. Um, I just started listening to Doom right before he passed away. So my first Doom reaction was probably two months before we found out he passed away. Uh, so I just hate it when we, when I get into an artist that we feel like we're missing out on. We tend to not to gravitate toward things that are different. And I think sometimes we got to learn a lesson from that. But anyway, let's keep going. Back to the water, they all to kiss me. Love on my mind, but it's cast to earn. I was hoping maybe we could ball eventually. If only one time, but we crash and burn. Fully from the script, but it's not to empty. Could you show us rap with your favorite girl? Could have fooled me, can't say the world. Could have fooled me, can't say the world. All right, all right, grip. Anyway, man, treat yourself. Listen to Snub Nose, man. Go listen to it. It came out around 19 ish or something like that, I think, before I had a channel. Again, I was rocking that um, when it came out. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, man. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all's love and support, man. Um, we're going to get into that Kendrick. If you're following me live, we're going to do that next. But again, shout out to Grip and M, man. A walkthrough. Vivid imagery of what they're going through or what they've been through. The walkthrough. That's what a song is supposed to do. If the song's talking about a walkthrough, that's what it's supposed to be talking about. Not about anything else. All right, man. Thanks for watching this FLV. Subscribe. Hit the like button and we out. Just like music